On behalf of the National Commission for Refugees, Migrants and Internally Displaced Persons, I thank you all for joining us today for the distribution of food and non-food items to our displaced persons in Kano State. In addition to the distribution of food and non-food items to all displaced persons here present today, the Commission will soon launch Project Reliance and the Resettlement City Project in Kano towards the empowerment and resettlement of displaced persons. We have to thank Mr. President Muhammad Buhari for establishing an institution where those refugees, migrants, and those who are internally displaced, an institution has been established in order to take care of them. First of the beneficiaries, we have already outlined the method of distribution of these items and also we have already directed our anti-corruption commission to ensure that these items are distributed according to the template provided by the commission. I assure you, all those beneficiaries you will get 100% what you are entitled to get. I request you to continue praying for Mr. President, to continue praying for peace and stability in Kano State, and to continue praying for peace and stability in Nigeria. We assure you, Kano State government, in collaboration with the federal government, we shall continue to take care of your needs, despite of the unfortunate situation that has happened to you. Also in Kano State, we had various persons affected by different calamities. In the year 2020, we have 34,180 persons affected by wind storm. We have provided them with assistance of materials and cash in order to reduce their suffering. Also we have 2,816 persons affected by fire outbreak. This one too we provided assistance. We have 10,000 630 farmers affected by flood. We have also provided one assistance or another by our great farmers. Therefore, we have a total of 47,626 persons affected by various disasters. Also, the program today is affecting 1,500 households. It is not 1,500 people, but 1,500 households. And you can imagine a household with the head of the household, his wife, his family, his extended family, and sometimes you can get up to 100 people who will benefit from this from one household. 
So we have to thank Mr. President for this very, very commendable effort. Here in Kano State, we are so conscious of the flight of those affected by calamities. That is why we established an IDP primary school, boarding primary school in Kano, where we receive children from Borno State whose parents were killed by Boko Haram, made hopeless, homeless. We decided to bring them to Kano every year in order to take care of their education. We provided a boarding school with all the facilities. We provided learning materials, including computers, and teachers, and feeding, and uniform, and we have given them free education. And we assure them the education can continue. Orana will continue from primary to secondary and even to the university as they choose. So ladies and gentlemen, Kano State has already institutionalized a procedure for taking care of internally displaced persons. Also, I'm happy to hear that the president has already directed for the construction of housing units and other facilities, like educational facilities, health facilities, and then environment for skill acquisition for the internally displaced persons, for the migrants, and also who are affected by one disaster or another. In order to respond to this very good gesture by Mr. President, the Kano State Government has provided two parcels of land of 20 hectares each. One at the Limungado local government and another one at Doha Kintova local government. So I would like to seize this opportunity to give the executive director of the National Commission for Refugees, our own Senator Ladogava Muhammad, to collect the two letters of allocation so that they can start construction of these housing units immediately.